Hi gorgeous people, it's Loza from the Baking Mad Gym Addict. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all keeping well and training hard. This is some footage of me training on the sled at the gym with my husband. This is a great strength exercise for your legs and bum and is guaranteed to get your heart rate up. My husband weighs about 85 kilograms, which is about 185 pounds. And so it's not an easy task pushing the sled with him on it. But hey, if the exercise is too easy, there's no point, right? Anyway, back to the video. Feast your eyes on this homemade granola recipe. You may have seen from my breakfast ideas video which I posted about a year ago that I made a quinoa granola. The link to that video is in the description box if you want to check it out. I've since adapted my granola recipe and so here it is in all its glory for you to try out. This recipe will make your house smell amazing and it takes about 30 minutes to make. And I tell you another thing, this is an awesome and delicious way to get rid of stuff which is just sitting in your kitchen cupboards. The good thing about this recipe is that it's so much cheaper to make this at home than it is to buy some of the premium granolas in your local supermarket. In my opinion, homemade granola tastes a million times better too. First of all, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We start off with the dry ingredients. You'll need about four cups of a base ingredient. This can be a mixture of quinoa flakes, raw buckwheat or rolled oats. You can see here that I've used one cup of rolled oats, two cups of quinoa flakes and one cup of raw buckwheat. Because I like to be a bit fancy and because I enjoy different textures in my granola, I like to add a little bit of each. The next thing you want to do is add about one and a half cups of nuts and seeds. Here I'm using a mix of pepitas, which is a pumpkin seed, some sunflower seeds, and because I had some whole pecans in my cupboard, I also add that too. You can see here that I'm crushing up my pecans with my bare hands like an animal. I now give the ingredients a bit of a mix. I add a dash of pink Himalayan sea salt to bring out the flavours. And at this point, I also add a small handful of shredded dry coconut because I wanted a cheeky toasted coconut taste. Once your dry ingredients are prepped, I move on to the wet ingredients. Here I'm measuring out half a cup of coconut oil. Half a cup of coconut oil is about 105 grams. I then hit the reset button on my digital scale and measure about 85 grams, which is a quarter of a cup of honey. By the way, if you need a digital scale, feel free to check out the description box of this video because you can get 50% off this scale if you use my discount code. I add in two tablespoons of vanilla essence and mix up the wet ingredients. Because my coconut oil was a little bit hard, I actually had to melt it in the microwave for about 25 seconds. Next, I drizzle the wet ingredients onto the dry ingredients and mix everything really, really well so that all your dry ingredients are nice and coated. At this stage, I felt like I had too much wet mixture and so I mixed in a further handful of rolled oats and another small handful of raw buckwheat. Then it's just a matter of bunging your tray into the middle rack of your oven for about 20 minutes. I like to spread the mixture in a thin, even layer and I also like to check the granola and stir it every so often to make sure it bakes evenly. You want to try and aim for a nice, light golden brown colour. Once your granola is baked, leave it to cool down at room temperature and feel free to continue to stir it every so often. The granola will usually harden a bit as it cools down. Now would be a good time to add your fruit. I usually aim for about one and a half cups of dried fruit. Today I'm using a handful of unsweetened coconut flakes and some sweety, sticky medjool dates. I remove the pits from my medjool dates and chop them up into smaller pieces. Oh my gosh, thumbs up if you love medjool dates. Who needs Haribo's when you have nature's candy? I think I used about 12 medjool dates here. The fill recipe is in the description box of this video and it makes about 10 servings. It will usually keep fresh for about 2 weeks. You can store your granola in a big sandwich bag or in a glass mason jar. It is super delicious with some fresh strawberries and a splash of almond milk. Alternatively, I also eat my granola sprinkled on top of my smoothie bowls. Now since we're on the topic of breakfast, I'll show you a quick tea recipe which I sometimes make. This tea jug is from T2 here in Sydney and I really like it because it's practical with an airtight lid. It holds about 1.2 litres worth of liquid which is just under half a gallon of liquid if you live in the US of A. The lid is leak proof which means that once it's screwed on properly, you can stand the jug upright or even lay it down horizontally without tea leaking about all over the shop. Today I'm going to mix up a loose leaf blend to create a creamy mint flavoured tea. My packet of tea is here. It's got peppermint leaves, spearmint leaves and lemon verbena. And because it's a tea stand rather than a tea, it's got no caffeine in it. I put in a tablespoon of that into my tea strainer as well as a tablespoon of toffee flavoured black tea to keep my sweet tooth under control and to give me a bit of an energy boost. And for good luck, I also add in some nice fresh mint leaves for even more flavour. 
Once my leafy concoction is inside the tubey strainer thingy, I screw the handle on top and pour hot water into the jug. Then it's just a matter of screwing on the lid and leaving it to brew for about 5 minutes. After the hot tea has brewed, I remove the strainer and screw the lid back on top. And there you have some yummy tea ready to drink. If you want to make iced tea, you can add some ice cubes if you like. I like to be a bit fancy sometimes and freeze some blackberries into my ice cubes like this. You can then store your jug in the fridge. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for hanging out with me in my kitchen. Remember to check the video description for the full recipe. And please remember to subscribe, like, share, comment and all that other good stuff. If you have the chance, feel free to browse through my Facebook page and Instagram feed. Thanks for watching. Baking Mad Gym Addict, out.